Welcome to Springboks News, where we bring you the latest updates on our beloved national rugby team. Today, we address a matter that has caught the attention of rugby enthusiasts across the nation. In a significant announcement, SA Rugby confirmed the suspension of Mazdor Cannon, prohibiting him from holding any position or participating in any rugby structures, under the auspices of SA Rugby for the next two years. This decision came as a result of Cannon's violation of SA Rugby's constitution and code of conduct, stemming from controversial remarks made during former prop Godfrey Thorne's memorial service in 2022. During his eulogy, Cannon made explosive comments, referring to Saru as a racist establishment, and labeling the Springbok emblem as racist. Furthermore, he directed derogatory remarks towards Saru President Mark Alexander and his deputy, Francois Davids, accusing them of being sellouts. These remarks were subsequently shared on social media and garnered attention from mainstream media. Following a rigorous 14-month investigation, an independent judicial committee found Cannon guilty on six charges related to his speech. The committee concluded that Cannon's statements were aimed at bringing Saru into disrepute, a clear violation of SA Rugby's constitution and code of conduct. The suspension serves as a reminder of the importance of upholding the principles and values that govern the sport we hold dear. SA Rugby's statement also outlined Cannon's right to appeal the sentence within 15 days should he choose to do so. This decision holds significant consequences for Cannon, both personally and within the rugby community. It underscores the commitment of SA Rugby to maintaining integrity and accountability across all levels of the sport. How do you think the suspension of Mazdor Cannon, the Eastern Province Rugby Union president, will impact the overall image and reputation of South African rugby? Stay tuned to Springboks News for further updates on this developing story and other news surrounding our national team. Together, we will continue to support the Springboks and the values that unite us as a rubber-loving nation.